Hey guys, I'm Tim, or Lord Tim, or LT, or any swear word you can think of, I'll probably answer to it. Uh, you probably know me best from Lord, or our previous version of the band, which was Dungeon, um, or Black and Angel, or various other projects that I've been involved in, either as a session musician or as a producer. I do a lot of video work and all that kind of business, and uh, the guys from Ilium contacted me to see if I'd like to do vocals on their new Sirens of the Sticks Restixed album, and here I am. Hello, this is Jason Hodges from Ilium, and welcome to History of the Signs of the Sticks album. Uh, to begin with the history of the band, we have to start with uh, where it all started from, I guess. Uh, in 1990, we formed a band called Oracle, which consisted of myself, with uh, Mark Snedden on vocals, who ended up becoming the first Oracle vocalist. I uh, also had Troy McClellan on guitar, Keith Jacobson on bass, and Jason, or Joss Doman, on drums. Uh, that lineup lasted until the end of that year and then Keith uh, had to move away for work so we got in Eric Pedersen on bass uh, shortly after Troy left we got Chris Arends on guitar and uh, Chris was to play a role uh, in the future of the band later on as well um, Eric and Chris didn't get on terribly well so uh, Chris was forced out and then Eric left shortly afterwards anyway and once Eric and Chris had left the band, we got together our first live lineup, which consisted of Mark, Joss, and myself, as well as new guitarist Adam Smith, uh, who was introduced to us by his brother Brian, who had auditioned for us, uh, and new bass player Matthew Woodland, who uh, we was a student of a friend of ours, Dave Lucen, who is still associated with the band. He plays in a band called Pure Envy and another band called PFJ. Um, that, that lineup with the five of us was the first to play live and that was basically pretty much where it began to, to sort of happen for Oracle. My brother was trying out to join the band. Um, that didn't work out. Um, from what I understand, the guys were looking around for someone else for a while. They come back and asked him again and he said he wasn't interested, but he suggested that myself my, my joint. So they asked me to come along, I did a rehearsal and yeah, it, it went pretty well, we hit it off. So I joined and we did Oracle for quite some time doing gigs and things like that. My name's uh, Mark Sneddon, so I was uh, the vocalist of uh, Ilium at the time. Um, and guess, you know, being friends with Adam and Jason for a very, very long time, um, had worked together in uh, Oracle many, many years beforehand. And that was, I guess, born out of a bit, a bit of, a, of a high school band, really. That lineup played together and did a few gigs, then Adam and Matt left. They were replaced by Michael Noonan on bass and Sean Vitadello on guitars. And we played a few more gigs and after four years together, um, everything kind of fell apart. Adam did come back for a little while, um, but by then we had no vocalist, we had no drummer. Uh, Adam left again, so there was myself and Michael, and that was the end of it. So basically what happened when we started in 1998, it was myself and Mark Snedden again on vocals. Uh, we decided we would uh, get together and try and reform Oracle, but we, we didn't want to call it Oracle. There were other bands around called Oracle at the time. And uh, we, we figured we'd try and start a new sort of approach, even though we were using old Oracle songs. We had Michael, we had Chris Arends come back in on guitar. And we ended up getting a drummer called David Pearson, who was sort of a temporary drummer. Uh, after things weren't working out with Chris, I suggested again that we get Adam and Mark was on board for that at that point in time. So we rang Adam. I had a phone call. I kind of remember who it was from. I think it was from Mark, um, telling me that yeah, the guys were back together and having another go. And I was asked if I'd join. And, so I thought, I'll, oh, I'll give it a go. I went along and we sat in and have a, had a talk. At the same time, Chris basically said, yes, I still do want to be in the band. So for one rehearsal, we actually had three guitarists. Adam amazingly could remember all of the old Oracle songs. And not only that, he was interpreting on keyboard as well as playing guitar. So we had three guitars. It was actually sounding really good, uh, but unfortunately, Again, Chris just couldn't commit to the, the practice and all that sort of stuff that we needed. Um, we did a number of demos as Iliad, um, which one 
we poured a fair amount of money into that just didn't come together at all. And um, the bloke that was supporting us really just didn't know what he was doing with metal. So that was um, a bad experience, really, uh, down in Kurumbal, uh close to home, or too far from home, really. And then Jason um, struck up a bit of a, a friendship, I think a line to start with, with, uh, with Tim in Dungeon at the time. And then Tim said that, you know, he'd help us out. And we had a great experience doing an EP with Tim, um, the Ilium EP, which was, uh, which was excellent. And we were just so happy with, with the outcome of that. We decided to, um, and the songs were there to put an album together. So I guess that's, that's where it all uh, came together. I had a friend in Arkansas who was actually friends with Lord Tim, who was in Sydney, so someone on the other side of the world connected us, and he agreed to do a demo for us. That turned out to be a hugely positive experience. Uh, from there, we decided that we were going to go ahead and do the first album, which was to be called Sirens of the Sticks. So in about, you know, I guess 2003, I think, was when we recorded. Um, look, it was, it was a great experience. Um, it was exciting. Um, it was stressful, um, at times frustrating. Um, my recollections of the time would be um, spending time in Tim's spare room, getting the guitars and, and the bass and everything down, and then um, spending time in the studio with the vocals, which um, you know, I found you know, frustrating, stressful, difficult being the first time in the studio like that, but also a lot of fun, um, a lot of jokes. Um, we recorded the album, we organised our first record deal with Steelheart Records in Italy and again things were still not terribly stable uh, unfortunately. We, we had gotten together a full band, we had David Walmsley coming on drums but before that we also got Pete Gilchrist on bass. But yeah that's it, that's the history of Sirens of the Sticks and Ilium. G'day, Steve here from sunny Queensland. I had the honour of providing drum tracks on the original pressing of uh, Sirens of the Sticks. It was a privilege and absolute pleasure to be a part of the Ilium Vision back in 2003. And I thank Jason and the blokes again for including me in this reissue. Oh,